Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Picking fonts in Adobe applications has never been easier. This is Adobe's big font update. Well, it doesn't matter if you're creating titles for video or a poster or any kind of social media, you're working with fonts and picking fonts, making things look in interesting is always a chore, isn't it? Trying to find a font and if you're going grabbing those crappy online free fonts and you have to find it, download it, install it, it's a huge pain. Well, with your Creative Cloud account, you get access to thousands of fonts and wait for it, unlimited fonts. Adobe has removed all limits on fonts. You have unlimited fonts. Now to make licensing a little bit easier for them, if you don't use a specific font for 150 days, they will turn it off in the background. Nothing bad will happen. And you'll see which ones are temporarily turned off and you can turn them all back on or you can just deactivate them. I know that if I'm creating a project, I might have a dozen or so fonts that I just uh, I installed just for a particular project and they're crazy fonts that I would never use otherwise. So I'll just delete them or deactivate them and then they're not in the menu. So I'm gonna show you three different ways. Inside Adobe applications, picking fonts and, and what is new and updated. Also in the Creative Cloud application and uh, also online on the, on the Adobe's font. So let's start in Premiere Pro. I've got a project here that I wanna work with the graphics. So at the top, I'll click on my graphics workspace and I'll select that title, edit. And by the way, I've got a whole playlist on creating uh, motion graphics templates, Premiere graphics titles and such in Premiere Pro. So with this selected in the, in the bottom, there's a text menu and, and it's always broken up into the font and the different weights. So each font can have different weights in it. If you want to change that font, you click in here and you pick a font. Now there's this little button here that will only show fonts from Adobe. This turns off any other fonts th that you might have loaded because um, you have fonts loaded in your operating system that are available for all applications that need fonts. Here you can just isolate the Adobe fonts, uh, which I think is a useful thing. So you can also make some your favorite. So if I want to choose a font, and by the way, I, I've been all over this uh, Acumen, Acumen Pro, Pro Condensed, Extra Condensed, and uh, Semi Condensed. And you'll notice this little triangle where I can open this up and I can get more choices in there. So lots of, of ways to, to work with this font, pick fonts, and on the right-hand side, you can click here and add fonts from Adobe. Now this will launch the fonts website and you'll see this little splash screen come up that talks to you about finding fonts, use them anywhere, and there's your unlimited font use. All of them, all fonts are included with Creative Cloud and we've removed our limits on how many you can use at once. Click OK. Here's the Adobe Fonts page where you can pick and try these out. The sample text here can be changed. You can type your own thing in here. So I know I'll type something in. If I'm if I'm looking for a certain headline or a word, I'll type that word in, then I'll search and now I can see it based on that word. Now I wanna show you on the left-hand side, down here are classifications, things like sans serif and serif, and you know what those are, but then there's something called black letter. What the heck is black letter? Well, when we click on that, we can see it. And black letter is mostly this old timey kind of uh, medieval uh, type of, uh, of font. Those classifications were used by typesetters and uh, art directors, creative directors for decades, and they're really, really old. They're still useful and they make sense for me because that's my background. But to a lot of users, they wouldn't know the first thing about what is a slab serif and black letter and such. So Adobe's added these tags and this is gonna make so much more sense to you. Have a look, oh gee. How about Halloween? Click on that. And now we're looking at some great fonts from Halloween. So Adobe is curating these for you. They're putting these tags together. How about futuristic? Boom, look at that, futuristic. And, and the great thing about something like futuristic, what the heck would it be over here? Well, there's sans serif, but there are also different kinds of fonts. So great ways to uh, start looking for fonts and, uh, and use them. So if we like, a certain font like this one, Scriptorama. I know I've used this before. Click on View Family. 
shows us some examples at the top. And as we go down to the bottom, we can see who it, oh, it's good old Jason Walcott, type designer. And if you wanna activate that font, you can activate that font. It turns it on and then you'll get a notification that um, it is on. I, I happen to have Windows 10 notifications turned off right now, but normally it would pop up. Same with uh, Mac OS, you would get a notification. And now it's available in all the different applications so that you can use it. Not just Adobe application, this is within your, um, your whole system. Over on the right, my Adobe fonts, if you click on this, here's where you can see the fonts that you have loaded. There's previews on the on the right. And here's an indication of a font that I haven't used for a while. And if I want to, I could click on that little icon and it would reactivate it. That's in the browser. Now let's look at the Creative Cloud application itself. So here is the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application. And on the bottom left, you can now access and manage fonts directly. So again, it's similar to what we just saw. Browsing fonts is gonna take you back online. These are the active fonts, but you can also see which ones have uh, been turned off that you can turn them on. You can deactivate them here. And the little ellipsis, you can deactivate all fonts not in use. So just a quick way to clean things up. You think to yourself, well, I probably won't use those 50 fonts until, well, I ever need them again. So just deactivate them. They'll be out of the menu, so it's easier to search. You can also look at previously active ones. Oh, I love that one. Let's say like this one here, clobbering time. I would never use that, that one again, unless I was doing the project that I had it on, which I, I had for a graphic project. You can also add fonts here. So this does allow you to select and add fonts directly to Creative Cloud. So now you've got your fonts loaded. You can manage them. All of that takes place uh, right there. Now I wanna show you something in Adobe Illustrator. And Adobe Illustrator has everything that I just showed you in Premiere Pro, but more. Photoshop has got uh, um, also some, some more features, but Illustrator is really the leader right now in fonts. And let me just address the question you have in your head right now. Why aren't they all the same? Well, they're not the same because each application development group is allowed to innovate. And the Illustrator team, seeing as picking fonts and graphics and things of that sort uh, is the whole reason it exists. I mean, you can be in, in Premiere Pro and do very little graphics work, mostly editing a title here and there, but Illustrator's whole reason for being is graphics. So we can pick a font, change a font, we can filter a font and have a look at this. So I've got this uh, type selected. You'll notice that I can now filter here so if I wanted to, I could go back to that same classification. So there's black letter or de there's decorative, there's black letter, serif, sans serif, and also um, what is the weight? What is the, uh, if it's condensed or regular or not. So you can, um, for instance, if I turn this on, now you'll see only bold weight start showing up. So that's cool. Photoshop has something similar, but what if, I can't find a font to use in this graphic design that isn't on my system. Well, normally you would go to the fonts website online, pick something, activate it and come back here. Wouldn't it be nice to preview all Adobe fonts in the font menu? Yes, the Illustrator team has done that. That's what this find more button does. When you click, now I've already activated mine, but the first time you do it, it takes a moment for it to activate. I don't have most of these on my system. I'm now accessing them from the online service. This, these are extra fonts that I don't even have loaded. And Illustrator also does give you the uh, option of changing what text is here. Premiere Pro doesn't. Premiere Pro just uses the word sample. Not only can I see what my text is going to look like, oh, let's try I want something fairly bold that I don't have loaded already. How about maybe it's something bold, but friendly. Oh, okay. So this is Anka Medium and I can click on this and activate it. So it's now activating, loading into my 
uh, computer. So now I can pick it and it's available. Whoa, that's really cool. Now I've got all this control right inside and I can't wait. Let's, let's uh, bug the Premiere Pro team so they can add th that font choice too. It's great. It's amazing. It means that I don't have any limitations and I don't have to leave the application to go to uh, fonts online to activate them. All right, there you go. So picking fonts, organizing, managing fonts, unlimited fonts. Thank you, Adobe. Woohoo! Um, it's now all part of your Creative Cloud account. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. We really, really do appreciate it. If you want to support us more, you can do that now on the VideoRevealed.com website. We have a store now, and VideoRevealed.com slash shop will take you there. You can uh, donate one time, monthly, uh, you can any amount you want. You can also grab some stuff like um, the 50 split screens that I created and more stuff that we'll be adding. And there's a bunch of free things there too. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and uh, it's my job to look at all the little things that are so easy to miss that are available to you as a creative cloud user.